About 2.30, eight minutes away, another chance for you to get yourself $1,000. Weekdays, you got, man, you got a lot of chances to win. About 30 past every hour. Half past the hour. Bottom of the hour. However you want to say it, I don't know. In radio speak, we call that the bottom of the hour. But I think, uh, uh, temporally speaking, it would be half past or 30 past. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Uh, I'll have another $1,000 for you in a few minutes. Cavaliers back home tonight. No, sorry, they're in D.C. <laughs> they are playing, they're playing the, the yeah. Wizards. Yeah, playing tonight. They had the last couple nights off. Uh, they're in D.C. against uh, the Wizards. Is that who Jordan played for for a cup of coffee? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But and he doesn't own that. that. He owns the Hornets? He, right. He yeah. was like the GM of them for a little while. And then he came back, and I don't. It was kind of weird, but but they weren't still the bullets. They were the no, wizards. They were by the then. wizards, yeah. and they had that those weird blue jerseys then. Yeah, yeah. So that's a seven o'clock tip tonight here on MMS six thirty. When we we roll out is when your pregame coverage will begin, uh, and right before all that, there will be another thousand dollars for you. So don't forget that six thirty. There is a chance for you to win. A couple of new pins on the bureau chief map. If you watch the live stream at alancockshow dot com, you'll see it. Part of her build shoulder. Uh, Doug is a new listener in Carlsbad, New Mexico. It's about three hours from the Mexican border. There, yeah. Yep. Uh, Bushman is in Denver. Uh, Scott is up in Casper, Wyoming. Part of the reason that I like putting the pins in the Bureau Chief map is I am so bad at geography that it reminds it me learn, of things. Yeah. I go, wow, I thought Wyoming bordered Nevada. And then you look it at It does something. not. It's it's way north. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's under Montana. It's under Montana, above Colorado and Utah. I always think, and then you go to New Mexico. You say this is three hours away. It looks super close to Mexico. Yes, that's a. These are big states. America's that's right. Huge. America is very big. Very big. That's why when people listen, I, I'm a liberal guy, not mm-hmm. shy about that. But when people go, why can't we do things like Sweden? I go, because we have 300 million people here. Mm-hmm. That's why, and they're not all one f. You know, they're not all one nationality. Sweden's got their own problems. Sweet. Everybody's got their own That's problems. Right. It's just on a much smaller scale. Uh, yeah, Scott out in Casper, Wyoming. Yeah, I always think Montana is where the Dakotas are. I always transpose, though. Oh, I yeah. always think that the Dakotas are west of Montana. Yeah, I spent a lot of time traveling through those states when yeah. I was doing comedy on the road, and I'm very aware. Yeah. I could probably get pretty much every state right on like a blank map. The only ones that get a little weird are the... like. Vermont, Delaware, Vermont, yeah. yeah. But even those, I know Delaware's well. like a sliver. Yeah, Delaware's so tiny. And then you got New York and Massachusetts, and yeah, I could probably do it all. Listen, if there's one thing that will bring us all together, it's that we're all going to be desperately cold next week. Is it going to be cold next week? Oh, my God. I was looking at one of these maps. The Arctic blast that <laughs> is coming through next week. Uh, the forecasters say that it will break 170 records across the United States. Record cold temperatures going through the northern plains, the upper Midwest, the southern plains, the Ohio Valley, through the East Coast, down into the deep south. Bleh. Damn! Yeah, so it's going to be cold everywhere. So what? The t- what's the temperature supposed to be? I mean, right now it's 39 degrees. I, I was surprised. I'm still getting into that. It was pretty that. warm when I was walking in it's today. Not bad. Was it? Yeah, it it's was not like, bad. It, it was like... When I came in, it was 32 degrees this morning. When I, when I came in, it probably was like at the peak, and it was... I, I didn't look, but it felt like it was warmer than 39. Okay. Or maybe I'm already getting used to it. Maybe you are. The coldest Veterans Day on record in places like Chicago and Minneapolis. So that's Monday, of course, Veterans Day. Um, we will be here, however. Right. Tr- paying our tribute to the veterans. We don't take Veterans Day off. Nope. I mean, why would we? I'm doing a tribute show to the, for them tonight. So if you are a veteran... Or active duty, you can come to my show. Anybody's, <laughs> anybody can come. Duty. Duty, that's oh, right. Oh, Bill, you said duty. Tonight at Quaker Steak and Lube in Sheffield Lake. Look at you. Sheffield Village. That's what it's called. What? Which? Sheffield Village. Oh, okay. LorraineCountyVeterans.com for all the info. Okay. That's going to be the Bill Squire... What's it called? The right. Salute to America? <laughs> iHeartRadio Show Your Stripes Comedy Event for America. Wow. It rolls right off the tongue. Mm-hmm. They couldn't just call it, it's the Bill Squire Get Up, Stand Up, Fight for Your Right to Party Vet Show? Well, we had that one, but it was already taken. Oh. Yeah, so. All right. <laughs> Someone said uh, for that John Legend version, yeah. they should call it Baby It's Woke Outside. <laughs> <laughs>
That's what I called the segment. Oh, did you? On the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> it's called Baby It's Woke Outside. That's, That's right. Funny. I name each of the segments yeah. here on the show when I do the podcast. Baby It's Woke Outside. Um, and uh, I already am working on our own parody version of that song for people who have already asked me. So uh, hopefully we'll be recording something for you very soon. Now, whether it will be me and Pound Cake or That'd be very woke. Bill and Pound Cake mm. or all three all of us. All three of us, a thruple. I'm guaranteed to be in this new one. <laughs> uh, it'll take. I imagine the way I'm writing it, it will take a twist. Yeah. Yeah. So um, do I get so shot? What you in got? It. Let me see what we can do. You with don't this. get yeah. shot. No, uh, I don't want to give anything away. Yeah. Suffice to say, uh, you don't make it all the way through. Of How about that? I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I always die. I didn't say die. I'm not killing anyone. I didn't say die. Oh. Why would you think that? You've never died. No. Why would you think that I I'm would like, do that? Can he just keep coming it's back? It's a Christmas song. Okay. Why would I do something awful? Grandma got ran over like by that. a reindeer is a Christmas song. But it's a joke. Mm. God, he always acts like I want to do him some harm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was cleaning it. <laughs> He's one of those good uh, gun owners, right? Yes, <laughs> I'm a responsible pistol owner. Whatever that is. I'm also cleaning... <laughs> <laughs> cleaning my 12 gauge. I'm sorry, buddy. You gotta stop focusing oh. on the trigger when you're cleaning it. Yeah, the trigger's fine. You gotta clean the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. You say what you want, but all my friends when we go shooting, they go, "You have got the shiniest triggers." Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, like the old Sarah Silverman joke when you take a shower with your girlfriend. Her breasts are sparkling clean by the end of it. Right. Same thing with the triggers on my, all of my uh, firearms, Bill. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Tell you what. Because I clean those triggers. I like moves. I like boobs. You do like boobs. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. <laughs> I just really like them. Uh huh. Ellen Cack Show exclusive news update. There you go. There's Bill nice, Squire likes boobs. A nice lady showed me some boobs, and I was really appreciative. A nice lady. A nice lady. Does it tell yeah. me it wasn't grandma? No, it wasn't Please grandma. Please tell me no, what. No. She's a nice lady. She is a nice lady. But All right. She's not that nice. Uh, and I wouldn't want no. No, this is a, a nice younger lady. A, a nice, you call her a lady. Mm -hmm. A young, nice younger lady yeah. showed me her boobs. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And boy, now I was like, this somewhere last I like night? Boobs. Was this somewhere where she was like, "This is going to make him feel much better. He's not feeling well. He's down and out. He's no, it wasn't terribly last night. ill." It okay. Was, uh, it was via the internet. The internet. So yes. someone sent you a picture of her breasts. Right. Was it solicited or not? I mean, where you're flirting, and she's like, "Here." And Here. Like, okay. <laughs> Here. How many messages was this the uh how many uh walk me through this? How many messages into the exchange did the boobs come? Uh probably like cuz like I woke up to pictures of her. Uh-huh. And she was just like here's what I'm wearing right now and, and it this was is just someone, like okay, her this, in bed like okay. as I woke up. Yep. And this is you know just flirty Snapchat t type of girl. Okay. And then I was like, oh, cool. But this, this is someone is, this you make me feel better. It's someone you knew. So they're nice yeah. and she's yeah, okay. Oh, just great. She called her a, a nice lady. Yeah, nice lady. <laughs> I won't get too much away. Lady! <laughs> hey, lady, I like your boobs, Got boy, Laban. in the game, Laban. <laughs> nice boobs. All right, I got $1,000 here for you. A uh, chance for you to go fund yourself. Good luck. Hey, it's Rover. Go fund yourself. We have your shot at $1,000 now. Text the nationwide keyword JUMP to the number 200-200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus iHeartRadio info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's JUMP to 200-200. Good luck and go fund yourself from 100.7 WMMS. All right, so you wake up to boobs. I woke up to boobs. and so Bert Kreischer was right about you, wasn't he? Yeah. He's not woke at all. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right. uh, Bill Squire likes boobs, ladies. I like boobs. This has been the least shocking news of the day. And who are you on Snapchat? Uh, at Hugo Butt. <laughs> <laughs> you still have that? Hugo yeah, Butt? Yeah, that's the wow. only one I've ever had. You used to pimp that. Yeah. I'm on Snapchat <laughs> at Hugo Butt. I just don't do it very much. I mean, I was I... Dr. Elgin Glimrimple on uh, Periscope years ago, but I don't have that anymore. Cody underscore Black 69. Yeah! Don't have that anymore. I mean, the name is still there, but I don't use it. I uninstalled the app. Yeah, I don't really post on there, but there's some people that nice. message me. and. Why know. can't they do the DM on Instagram? 
Some of them do. How did they find Some... you at Hugo Butt, <laughs> by the way? <laughs> Contacts. I, mean, I used to pimp it out, and there's also, like, I think it's written on, like, my Facebook profile or something. I don't know. It's it's out there. Hugo Or if you have my phone number, you can find it that way. Okay. So, but I, I don't, see. I don't use Snapchat all that often. Hugo, well, just when there's boob pics incoming. Just when there's boob Great ass! I don't put on my story very much. Gotcha. And if I do, it's usually just me like, hey, I have a show, like tomorrow in Lorraine. <laughs> Billsquare.com. Maybe you could come show those to me in person. Is That'd it like be, that? Hmm. Yeah, come I, show see, those but I don't to wanna, me in person. I don't want to be like John Chris, so you got to pay for your ticket. You want to keep it professional. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got to pay to show me your boobs. <laughs> no, you pay to see my show, and then if you want to show me your boobs, I will look at them, probably. Yes. But there's no quid pro quo. I'm not trying to be a skis bag like that right. Christian guy. There's no quid bra quo yeah. in this whole situation. All right. Well, good to know. There. So, I mean, there were, so all of your parameters are there, ladies. I did offer. They're all there. You can do something good for the troops tomorrow night, and then you can do something good mm-hmm. for Bill. I did offer some young singles tickets to my show tomorrow. But young think, young singles? Yeah, Kevin and Jake. I think they, you know, they're young single guys. So I was like, hey, come out to my show. We'll see what happens afterwards. Oh, I see. <laughs> so it could go either way. <laughs> right. And did they show you their boobs, too? They better not. All right. That's not how we do it. I'm just checking. Just taking care of some buddies. Understood. Hey, speaking of uh, butt. Oh, <laughs> just a lot of ads now on the old I heard, Snapchat. I heard from our uh, a couple of bureau chiefs in Kansas City that the whole town smells like ass. And they're trying to figure out what it is. That the meteorologists out there are on the case in Kansas City. On the Missouri side, not so much on the Kansas side. But they said that they're blaming the smell on the winds that are carrying across state lines from other states that are uh, more heavily engaged in agriculture than Kansas City might be. That the winds are shifting, and it's blown this, like, feet and crap stank all throughout Kansas City, Missouri. So if there was ever a time, boy, that you needed Pat Mahomes to be healthy, it's now. You can't be down in your luck with the team and then also walk outside and get a nose full of feet and crap stank. Mm. You don't want that. And then it's cold no, to boot. So it's cold feet and ass. I feel bad for the people that are road tripping out there. They're just going through. They're like, Kansas City is a crap hole. Yes. <laughs> and it smells like it, too. And it's for people who live there. It's all over social media. Why does it smell like butt outside? <laughs> <laughs> Who's been bottoming downtown? <laughs> is there a gazebo nearby? <laughs> this is gross. The gazebo doesn't smell like like ass. And people are bottoming underneath the gazebo there. Well, oh, well. That's not what the gazebo... Gazebos are for. Not, they, that's not it just what's going shelter. on. It just provides shelter. That's all. And it wasn't even in the gazebo. It's next to it. It wasn't in the gazebo? No, it was like nearby oh, it. Yeah. Why wouldn't you be in it? Because oh, you were using it for cover. No, we were, I used it as a location to meet. I was like, <laughs> But why not get in the gazebo? Yeah, because we were just making out. I don't know. Oh, this whole time, I've been under the misapprehension mm-hmm. that, I, that this was I in... romanced her in the gazebo? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? If it's I'm very know, romantic. If I'm following this model right here, it looks like you are in there and you have a hand ready. So well, that's their, that means that's, you lied to everybody. That's their interpretation. No, I. that's what people have interpreted. You need to be out here. That's we're, the artist's rendition. Yes. Dramatization? Ma- yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe I assumed. Uh, clearly, I did. Mm-hmm. I thought, why I go to why go to gazebo. a gazebo and then be gazebo adjacent? Yeah, you go meet me at the gazebo, and then they get there, and you go, let's enter the gazebo, Ooh. and then let's see what else we can enter. We just were just outside the gazebo. Yeah. Just gazebo and adjacent touching and have a good time. Uh huh. Kissing and touching. <laughs> <laughs> she was in Bill's arm. <laughs> Breathing hot. That's what we need to do. Kissing, we need kissing. to do an update of that song where it's not gay guys. I hope I still have it. Now, I might have lost that in the involuntary purge. You can't oh, find no. it? Uh, I haven't looked for it. It hasn't come up no, in a long, long time. On YouTube or something. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I can. I've, I've got it somewhere. Called Bill. Yeah. Oh, it cracks me up. Wow, yeah. I forgot all about that. That's Peggy Scott is the artist who did that song. Yeah, she finds her husband... Uh, in Bill's arms, and then she did a song called "Life After Bill." <laughs> she really hung up on Bill. Yeah, Bill flipped her world upside down. Really did. See if I can find it here. You know things they're not always what they appear to be. 
Is this her, is this Bill? Where I think that's the this spousal, is after Bill. Spousal abuse. <laughs> this isn't spousal abuse. Oh yeah, this is Bill. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you're they're, in a, they're in a party. Yeah. I walked outside. <laughs> Here it comes. I couldn't believe they, my eyes. Let her sing it, man. <laughs> he was in Bill's arms, breathing hard and French kissing. <laughs> I, I like pancakes act out. <laughs> I love, I love overly literal R and B. <laughs> oh man, it's the best. Like Peggy's, R. Kelly. Yes, Peggy mm-hmm. Scott. Gave birth to the R. Kelly hell spawn, you know? <laughs> no one need the only reason that you're doing 22 minute songs is because you don't have an editor. For Mary, Susan, Helen, and Jane, when all the time, all the time it was me that was sleeping with my man. By the way, why would she assume that just because they were making out at a party? Uh, that they were having sex elsewhere, that they were sleeping together. It's kind of a leap. Well, maybe she'll tell us. Camping and fishing. Because they're camping and fishing, that's why. <laughs> that's why they're camping they went and fishing. Camping and fishing. That's what I do when I camp and I fish. You glamp and fish. Well, no, I pitch a tent and then I rail them <laughs> yeah, in. I bet you do. <laughs> pitch a tent, all right. <laughs> you say rail them in, not reel them in. <laughs> <laughs> God uncle to my only son. This woman is a genius. I really hope she's still alive. Peggy Scott Adams. Mm-hmm. She hyphenated it. Maybe she got married. Maybe she found a new man to replace Bill. No, Bill was not. Bill's the man she, her guy stepping right. out with. Wait. Bill yeah. is the homewrecker. That's right. Now it looks like Uncle Billy wants to be his stepmom. <laughs> I didn't hear this part. I never song. heard that song. <laughs> Uncle Billy gets to be a stepmom. <laughs> She's going old church oh, on Bill. That's so funny. I, was for I can't believe this is a real song. Peggy Scott in the Rock Hall already. Yeah, she, <laughs> she deserves it. <laughs> She's known as the little lady with the big voice. She was a lounge singer in Florida many, many years ago, and then. <laughs> Not one what? bit of subtleness in the entire song. <laughs> you were gay. Uh-huh. Ax. Why didn't you tell me that you were gay? By the way, she we did need to isolate that part. <laughs> she did a video for this song, oh. and now I desperately want to see it. Gotta see it. It's from 1996. <laughs> wow. Goddamn. What Fantastic. A brilliant song. And you knew, you knew I built my world around you. And here's what he had to say. Well, anyway, so she, uh, yeah, she did spousal abuse. <laughs> she did a dance track called Sweaty Men. <laughs> she had what? an album called Hot and Sassy. Um, She's my idol. Fifteen years ago, she had a song, If You Want to Hear Me Holler, Lick Me Up Some Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Queen. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I, I like to cut of her, her, uh, cut of her jib, boy. She's, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll have to find all that Peggy Scott Gee. stuff. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Put it back in my archives. All right, let me break here. Our friend Tom Pop is going to join us later on. He's at Hilarities all this weekend. I'll also hook you up if you want to see that Day to Remember show. They're going to do uh, I Prevail and Beartooth in the supporting slot. But the show's going to happen next Friday night, one week from tonight, over at the Wolstein Center. 35192 if you want to text me. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app. <laughs> 